This is 1111 26th Avenue East, located in the Alberta area, right in front of the old Leland Lanes Bowling Alley. It's in the process of being remodeled. You can see it's right just past the train tracks, uh, just north, or excuse me, just south of University Boulevard, uh, across from uh, Impact Church. Was a dentist office for many, many years, um, but now it's available for general office use. There is a couple of parking spots uh, on the left side, and then one or two on the right side, but then there's plenty of overflow parking uh, as it is part of the Leland Lanes property. So there's plenty of overflow parking back there, and we'll head inside and check it out. All right, as you come in the front door, you come to like a receptionist window. Uh, there's a door there if you wanted to keep it closed. Um, again, this was a dentist office for many, many years, so you'll kind of see the feel for that. But again, you have the service window that slides back and forth to the receptionist counter. You have a door there um, that could be kept closed if need be. Then you have a small waiting room and three or four people, you know, in some chairs would be fine. Or, I mean, again, you could set this up as a receptionist area as well if you needed that. So, again, the, the main door where we come in. All right, and then as we come in in the hallway, again, to this receptionist area. So, kind of built-in desks and storage. So, one thing I didn't show you is... Uh, with this door closed, there is a window on this side as well that would go to that waiting area. So, good functional layout for welcoming uh, customers. As we come into the hallway, we do have brand new luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the whole space. New neutral uh, paint, all LED lighting throughout the entire building. So, on our right here, you have a little storage in this little hallway, and then it leads to uh, a half bath in the hallway. It's a wall mount sink and toilet. Not a large bathroom, but it's adequate. Hallway. So on our left, we have the first office, or could be a patient room, or however you want to use it. Nice window up high for good light, but again, you could have your desk below it. Have plenty of wall space still, so it's nice. All right, and then in the hallway here, um, we have a little kitchenette area with some storage above it. Um, a couple cabinets and a small sink. It's a nice little work area. There's a door that leads from this area into the second or next office. But there's also a door off of the hallway. So the door back to that little kitchenette area is behind the main door. We come in. A lot of plugs in this space. Uh, high up on the wall, I guess, above old counters. And then this closet is off of it. Again, it has a couple of plugs in here. So depending on what your need was, um, there's storage. Um, you get more plugs, so there's a lot of power outlets, so it makes it very uh, adaptable. In the hallway where we came in, cross back over the hall, kind of third office, which is very similar to the first. Getting luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout, LED lighting, and, uh, nice windows. Again, up high for plenty of wall space. All right, and then the back two offices are a little different. This one has a very small countertop with cabinets, maybe 16, 18 inches deep. It's not a full 24 inch deep, but again, a lot of cabinets and storage, good window. And then behind this room, behind this door, is like a pocket door that leads to just the storage area. You know, your water heater, air conditioner, um, some shelves there. There is a back door here um, if you needed to come and go from here. Again, not a finished area at all, but if you needed some storage. 
and back into the office. All right, now the uh, fifth and final office has a back door, or a front door, excuse me. This would also be on the front of the building out to the main road. High upper window, exterior door, and then a good storage closet there. And then uh, what would I would assume would be a private half bath here. So the one in the hall might be available for customer use. This one's nice, it's kind of back out of the way. So. So there are five offices in total with um, a receptionist area and a waiting room. So a little kitchenette, again, so five offices, two bathrooms, receptionist area and waiting room. So again, this is 1111 26th Avenue East in Tuscaloosa, offered for lease by Druid City Properties. If you'd like more information, you can find it on our website at tuscaloosapropertymanagement.com.